Yeah, we are live. How you doing, everyone? All right, it's Tony again. This is part two of episode eight with Chance McClellan. We are back. Now, topic continuing on from girls. Women, girl, well, there's a difference between a girl and a woman. A woman is a mature person. So, it was a high school freshman. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you look, what, do you, what, do you, what in your mind makes a good woman? One that listens, shuts up when she has to. I mean, like, she's reasonable when she talks to you, doesn't fight all the time. Good sex, uh, what else? <laughs> uh, probably one that just doesn't. Basically, you can communicate with without having to feel hatred towards or. Pissed off? Yeah, or be upset. Like, yeah, I understand fighting, but. Good woman is someone that's mature. Can and you actually always get through it. Fuck yeah. Everyone's always in a fight. That's just being realistic. Hell yeah, dude. I've never been with a mature woman until now, but like, honestly, dude, freaking. It's hard to find that, dude. There's a lot of girls that suck, like freshmen in this world. I agree. I, I just. I can't stand when women lie. If you're gonna lie, I'm gonna treat you like shit. I can't stand lying. Don't. Be honest. If you're gonna be a shady bitch. Uh, I hate. <laughs> I have my fair share of shadiness, my last girlfriend. Dumb ass. Who was your last girlfriend? If you don't mind saying her name live. Alyssa? Go on, thanks for it. But, whatever. So, you know, you gotta live and learn. Shit's gonna happen. Women, they come, they go. If we get a good one, good. I mean, like I said, me and Tony, we got pretty we got good women right now. Going, yeah. And I'm usually falling for the dumb ones, the fucking 80% of the population out there that are just snobby ass lying bitches. But I don't Until know. now, I'm doing good. I, I like someone that could be that I I could trust, you know. Someone yeah, I could talk to, and isn't like evil in every way. It doesn't have to like just be a bitch. Oh, yeah. She can have casual conversation, and, you know, just just roll with it. Just be able to go with it and just pick up and go like as if you never left off. Trust. Um, someone that can just have a good time Ooh. and give me me time. I hate when women are clean. That's my problem. My girlfriend is way too clingy. But, and you know what I really hate? Do you ever have this? Like, maybe you get in a fight with your girlfriend and she goes and talks to all her friends and you're like the asshole of the century? You know, I've I had that, hate I haven't had that problem with Kayla. We don't really... We don't really fight. You've had that with a girl though, haven't you? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, or like rumors go around that you did this to her and it's yes. fucking ridiculous. It's like, oh, you guys want to tell me when I did this? Because I don't remember this. Like, yeah. a roofie or something? Fucking rumors going around that like I forced sex on my girlfriend and shit, and then I beat her. And I'm like, when the shit did this go around? Well, I know some stupid slut that spread this rumor named Brittany Wayne, dude. Fucking, or Wine, or It's actually Wayne, but still, I hate that whore. I'm cool with him. Duke, Duke's pretty cool. No, Duke's cool, but I just have to downgrade his girlfriend live on my webcam because I just can't stand her. Brittany's cool, my we're, we're, we're chill, we're at, a, we're at peace. It's first, bro. Yeah, but hey, you gotta burn bridges, you can't be angry your whole life. You gotta... I'd rather burn her. <laughs> okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. But, uh, and honestly, you, can't, you just can't live life angry. You gotta, you know, you gotta just be at peace with everyone. Of course, there's always gonna be that one person you just want to stab repeatedly. Jesus, I'm a fat ass. I'm uh, sorry. Go ahead. I think we all have that person where you literally hate them so much. If you had the chance, you would slit their throat. I yeah. can name about forty of them. I got a couple. We all do. You know what? Let's talk about. Okay, so girls like I hate when you tell a girl she's beautiful, and she denies it up front, dude. You feel stupid as a guy. You're like, that really makes me look stupid. You know, I haven't had, I haven't had that problem. I'm just. My, well, I mean, I've had girls say thank you and smile, but there's a lot of them that are like, no, you're just saying that. Because people, people can't see themselves for them. They see what other people see. Now, with our new generation, you take what I and that's how you feel. Not, not a lot of people are comfortable in their own skin. Yeah, I'd like to murder a lot of people for the way they look at me, but I look at myself as awesome. <laughs> Seriously, I might be a serial killer one day. I don't know yet. Just kidding. Well, I, I know if you try to kill me, I'll kill you. Kill you. I'll, stop I'll you show like up and pull some scream on you, dude. Ghost face. I'll yeah. stalk you. I'll stalk you like a fucking animal. Stalk you like an animal. Uh, I don't know, dude. Honestly, here's a question for everybody. Put this in the comment box or on Facebook. Contact me or whatever. If you could be a serial killer, who would you kill? Why would you do it? And how? I want to know this. Now, let me ask you that question. If you were a serial killer, okay, you can do anything. Who would you kill? Why? How would you do it? 
Well, first off, there's no guns. Guns make too much noise, leave too much evidence. You want it quick and clean. Oh, yeah. Gotta use a knife. Yeah. Who would you kill? Mm, I don't know. I'm pretty, pretty good, <laughs> content in life right now. There's not really anyone I really want to kill. It's just people I just, I don't want nothing to do with. There you go, you kill that person. Just kidding. Ow, if you were to kill him, you'd do it with a knife. I'd, I'd have to, you know, guns, just evidence, you know, you shoot the gun, there's evidence, your hands, just mm -hmm. powder residue, you have a bullet, I'm just gonna dig that bitch out, and take that bitch out, you got a gun you gotta contend with, you know, and then they're gonna find out what kind of caliber, and shit's traceable nowadays, you gotta have some quick, clean, that everyone can get their hands on, cause yeah, there's about freaking billions and billions of knives out there, you never will tell which one, you tell the crew and stuff, but, I'd be like scream for. I'd kill my best friend, and I'd do it with a knife. <laughs> I'd be like, "Come here, bitch!" and kill the fuck out of him. And if you, and why? Just because that would make him look cool. Just kidding. I, I wouldn't kill my best friend. I'd probably go after like. Well, well today's rules, like they said, it's okay, unless it's you're safe. unless you're a faggot. Cool. Everyone, you're everyone's free game. If you're gay, you'll live. Virgins, you're you're on the table. You don't get a freebie. Oh uh, yeah, the virgins are the first to die. Actually, I take that back. That's even a now, big titty blown one. Yeah, virgins always live. No, not nowadays. <laughs> well, not nowadays, but most movies are the same as they used to. You get laid, then you get killed. Yep. So you better. Jason Voorhees lets you fuck, then he comes in, fucks you over, Mike. As long as you fucking tap it and you get out of dodge. Once I was watching, it, I was like, he didn't even let them do it first. That's messed up. <laughs> no, you get played tired of being a peeping tom. He is a peeping tom. So is Freddy Krueger. Yeah, Freddy Krueger's a crackhead. Yes. What bitch uses knives for fingers? Yeah, that's kind of pussy too, going after kids in their dreams. Like, come on, be for real. Let's let's, let's bring it to the mainstream. I don't know. Let's just pop through windows. They need to make a movie like that. The person's killing everyone just breaks through windows and kills the kid in bed. Well, they gotta they gotta make a movie with new rules. A not happy ending. I'm seriously hell bent on someone making a not happy ending. I, I am just dies part two comes out dies part three happy ending there we go well, just with part two at least you can like the detective or someone like that's how you can branch it is he's looking for this guy and this guy is making a new this? new start it just gotta be you gotta film it you gotta be gory because yeah there's not enough gore in scary movies unless you're watching saw yeah but it's fun. No, all right not saw gore but enough to get people to, like cringe every now and then yeah but dude with what they should do now and you gotta be the... smart well, for the sequels, you know what they should do? It should all be one big movie with, like, three or four sequels. It continues where the la like, last one left off. Like, here's a good idea for a movie. All right. A school bus full of kids, dude, they get trapped in the school because someone's trying to kill somebody, but they end up having to kill everybody because of evidence and shit. But think about it, dude. Four sequels all representing that same night they're stuck in there. Because then you go... You could do back drafts. You can do, like, all right, well, in the second one, they're still stuck in that school. There's a detective that finds out third one the family finds out like you could honestly do a whole movie in four sequels and it would be badass what's well, so many people do like a year later well who's gonna go back a fucking year later yeah like the next sequels like a year later i'm coming back for you like that's fucking stupid because really if you're a real killer you're gonna get that shit done taken care of quick why wait that's more evidence it's more shit for them to figure out on you get done quick precise but you gotta be smart about it don't leave too much evidence if any at all and you gotta just be in and out, in and out. Too many people dick around, get their sweet time. They always have to talk, 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 and no partners. That's ridiculous. How, sorry, go ahead. When you have a partner, someone gets screwed over, one or both dies. Mm -hmm. Look at them, scream, Billy and Stu. Billy talk, 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 stab Stu to shit. Stu stab Billy. Dick. All that dicking around. Stu got a fucking TV put on his head and oh, Billy got so shot and stabbed. Dude, fucking, they should make Billy come back in like the fifth one and do a backstory of how he survived. Because I'm tired of these three movies having a different killer each time. That's pretty cool that they do that, but here's the reason it sucks. The shitty motives. The second one wasn't it because, oh, he came back because Cotton Weary was like his uncle or some shit, and so he wants revenge. That's stupid. Third one, it was a college student that just wanted to kill Sydney. Stupid. Fourth one, the cousin tired of not being famous. Stupid. Those motives are dumb. They need something like the first one. They need just one solid killer. Yes. Who has a real motive. Too many people kill for shits and gigs. No one likes to kill for shits and gigs. Let's have real concrete evidence of what you want to do. It give us a way to connect with the killer in the movie. Hell yeah. If I was a killer, I'd have to have a real motive. So like, 
say I'm in love with a girl and she fucks me over and I'm like heartbroken beyond belief. We're talking like that type of so love where you, yes, you like you're laying in bed, dude, and all you can think about is her. You can't even think about your family. That's when you go psycho. That's your real motive. But you don't kill her or the person she fucked. You destroy them slowly, dude. You kill their friends and shit like that. Like, scream. That would be a perfect movie right there. Like, honestly. And then in the end, just kill them. Don't fucking let them live. Perfect movie. Well, too many people just spend time talking about it. They're, like, taking know, pride in their work. Take pride after it's done. They're like, I was so great and believable. Like, well, fucking kill that person. And then, boom, you're dead. Hell yeah, You dude. fucked up. Like, so, you knew this was going to happen. Well, not even a gun. Fuck the stab. Well, two people pay, pay too much attention to detail. There's a certain point where you just gotta cut it off and no, do your thing. Mm -hmm. Too many people are like, well, if I do this, this, and that, I get this, this, and that. How about you just go in, kill the bitch, get out? It'll be kind of a good movie. A random killing for, like, no reason. The killer's just killing people out of nowhere. No motive, no reasoning, like Halloween. Like five minutes. Oh, drink. Do you want another one? I want a drink. There's Doc River right there. <laughs> okay, I'll get you a Coke. Hold on. But no. If someone's gonna do a, a, a serial, be a serial killer, do it right. But anyways, yes. You're gonna be a, the fatty drink. And you always gotta kill the blonde in the first in the first five minutes. It's how it always is. Some big titty chick always gets. This is true. Tell me a movie where there's not a chick that doesn't get killed. That doesn't know. I know the hot ones die first. So if you're hot, you're screwed from the beginning. You might as well just jump off a bridge and do us all a favor. You gotta be virgin, ugly, and gay to live. Because then everyone feels bad for you. Yeah, but nine times out of ten, it's a super hot chick. She always loses it in the end. Why is that always a fucking chick? That's what I just realized. Uh, because you ever seen a man get fucking be a pussy in a movie? Well... Yeah, sex drive. <laughs> the main character is a pussy until he admits he's gay. Well, like, seriously, make a movie about the guy. Like, that's why I like those movies about girls that have a crush on guys and they'll do anything to get him. Perfect story. Well, it's a different aspect because it's not very right touched. But think about it, they could be a serial killer. Could be. Because they love that guy and they'll do anything to kill anybody around them just to be with him and then they kill him. Like, yeah. Honestly, we need new rules. Well, we do have the new rules. Any, everything's. There's no limits, there's no rules. That's true. You just, too many people are just too focused on the originals to see what we have now. Well, the four key roles that we have to keep. One, you have to be a virgin to live. And gay. And gay. Two, don't say you'll be back because you're never going to be back. We already know. That was standpoint from freaking Scream. Never say, I'll, I'll be right back because you never come back. Three, I'll, go, I'll be right back. Three, you cannot be the practical jokester. You can't be the one that's trying to scare everybody because you get killed. Well, yeah, it's in the middle when you're just doing your own thing that the killer always comes behind yeah, and yeah, stuffs like, you. Four, you can't be taking a piss, drinking and finding something, or making out. That's when you die, right there. That's always when you die. So, no sex, yep. no alcohol, and no being alone. And no joking around. That's how you live. Oh, I know. <laughs> I get killed. Dude, they need to make a fucking scary movie where someone's whacking off and they get killed. Like the killer just pops in the stall and freaking cuts their head off. He's like, shit. And then he gets his head cut off. Well, the closest you get to that is a scary movie when uh, the guy gets a dick oh, in his ear. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. That's dude. pretty gay. Or the second one and he gets the clown. He's like, hey, get your finger out of there. He drags the clown back in the bed. That is so gay. I was like, oh, hell no. But no, there's the, we have the rules. It's just... Now we need a director that's gonna be that's gonna take a risk and he's gonna use that to his advantage. I'd do it if I had the chance to if I go to Hollywood and tell them my idea, all I would ask for is certain actors, some money, production value, all that stuff, and I bet I can produce a good movie. Well it's not hard. It's just basic fundamentals and you just gotta apply it to the new world. Yes, most likely. Alrighty, well, that was part two. Personally, the better part of this episode. I'm Tony Trujillo. I'm James McClone. This was the Midnight Show with Tony Trujillo. Thank you for watching. Have a good Enjoy night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a great fucking night. Yeah, yeah.